this video we're going to look at socioeconomic grouping. Socioeconomic grouping is a way of classifying different people. It's not a foolproof way, but it's just a way of trying to help you out when you're looking at segmentation, segmenting your audience. So we can see there that we've got six categories for socioeconomic grouping. The first one we have is A. This is what's labelled as a professionals category. So these are people that have studied beyond university, so beyond higher education, and kind of really help, as the name suggests, social means they really um, attribute to society and economic, they're, they're well paid for it. Next category is B, which is managerial. So same again, not as high as uh, category A, but still well educated, fairly well off, etc. Next two categories begin with C, and we have C1. So C stands for skilled, but the one is non-manual. So this is a skilled workforce that don't particularly work kind of with, with their hands as much. And then C2 is skilled manual. So A, professional, B, managerial, C, skilled, and then it's whether it's manual, non-manual. So C, skilled, that makes D, unskilled. So D category, the unskilled people. And then the E are... I think the nice way to put it is state funded. So E people are state funded. Let's have a little look. You can see that I've got a column there. What I like to do is have a little look and how that works for The Simpsons, because a lot of people have seen The Simpsons. So you can see there in my A category, I have people like the judge, um, Mr. Burns, the company owner, so I put runs a nuclear power plant, superintendent Chalmers, runs a school system in uh, Springfield, and they're Dr. Hibbert. So they're all A categories, they're all professionals. They've done something beyond their um, higher education. So once again, doctorate takes a few years uh, running schools, etc. Hopefully there's a bit of extra training there, uh, post-law degree, etc. B is managerial. So let's have a look at Simpsons characters then. So we've got Chief Wigan, manager of the Chief of Police. We've got the um, Principal Skinner and then the Mayor there. So they're all managerial positions. They have people to look after, reasonably high in society and reasonably well paid, etc. Once again, this isn't a, a direct um, an exact science because some could argue the A is more of a prof um, the mayor there, Mayor Quimby is more of a professional role rather than a B. But some then could also argue is he didn't really study for that job, he was just voted in, so it was just a popularity contest. Next we have C1, so remember this is skilled non manual. There we have um, Smithers, his PA, uh, teacher there. Um, I forgot, uh, Mrs. Kravopel. It's very hard to find her when you Google her to find her without uh, smoking. We have the police guys, Carl and Lenny. Uh, I think that's quite wrong actually, because I think if I'm, uh, I'm episode one of my remember one of my Simpsons episode, um, one of them got promoted to be the boss of the other guys. And then we have Homer. And if you don't quite remember, Homer's job is head of safety. So once again, is that a managerial or is that a skilled non-manual work? Let's look at C2, skilled manual work. Groundskeeper Willie there, we have the, the captain of the fish boat, <laughs> that's all I could find then. So these are the skilled manual, these, so there's a lot of skill to be a groundskeeper or a captain of a fish boat, which is also quite physical as well. D are unskilled, there we go, we've got Otto the bus driver. Uh, the next guy, I don't know if you can tell, he's the uh, guy who usually works in a lot of the menial jobs, so you usually see him working in Krusty Burger and things like that. And then we have comic book buy, but once again, does comic book guy own his own store, so is that a B? Is that a managerial role but it doesn't have any staff so is it just could anyone run their own store so as i say it's not an exact science but it's just a way of helping you classify who your customers are then finally we got e the ones that are state funded so as we can see there grandpa state funded and hans molman because they're both quite old i like hans molman that's why he's in there you got marge as a mother so is she on any state benefits and then cletus the unemployed so that's socioeconomic grouping sitting to fit Ugh. Split down into six categories using Simpsons characters.